You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. What's going on, Team Family? Look, right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strength Team Family, welcome to the Strength Team Family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you gotta do is put them at the bottom and I promise I'm gonna make that video happen. You already know what we have, ladies and gentlemen. It is the four week strength team challenge. This is day number one and this is week number three. Listen, I have been MIA. I got hit with a sinus infection, man, and I ain't gonna lie to you, it was just beating me up. I stayed drained, my nose was all clogged up. I just felt, just, I felt awful. But listen, all this in the past. So that's why week three is just now uploaded. Everybody that reached out and checked on me, I want to give you a major salute. And everybody that was out there that was still getting those gains like you're supposed to, I want to give you a major salute as well. Listen, I'll be in Vegas watching Mr. Olympia show uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If anybody's in the Vegas area or anywhere close to there, let me know and I will link up with you. That way we can maybe get a session in, maybe go get something to eat or whatever, it don't even matter. And it really just made me think, I'm gonna do a short little strength team family tour. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Virginia, Florida, probably do that over like the two month period. And I'm telling you, I wanna meet everybody out there that is close. If you are serious about your gains, show up, show out, and show me that you are serious. This push workout right here, listen, we gotta come right back stronger than we left. So this one is gain certified. That is way too much talking, so let's jump straight into this killer push workout. Our first exercise, we have the flat dumbbell bench press. We have four sets and we're going to stay between six to 10 reps. I want you to go as heavy as you possibly can. Now my weights were between 115 pounds. My heaviest weight was 125 pounds. Every single set, I added more and more weight until my fourth and final set, I had 125 pounds. Now our second exercise, we have the incline dumbbell bench press. Now we have four sets and we're going to stay between six to eight Eight reps. Listen, it's only six to eight reps, guys. There's no need to warm up. Your chest is already pumped. Your shoulders are pumped. Your triceps are pumped. So go all the way out there. My weight was between 90 pounds and 100 pounds. I know a lot of people cannot come all the way down like I'm doing using full range of motion. Just go as deep as you possibly can. But if you can't come all the way down with the dumbbells and touch your chest, go ahead and do that. But if you cannot do it, do not worry. Go as deep as you possibly can. Make sure you are stretching your pecs. Make sure you're pushing the dumbbells up and squeezing your pecs at the the top. As long as you're doing that, you are still making gains. Now, you know how it is over here at Strength Team. That fourth set, it's going to be a drop set. So immediately, after you get your six to eight reps, now I want you to drop the weight, maybe like 20 to 30 pounds. Now I want you to go right back in our guys, and I want you to do as many reps as you possibly can. Don't stop at six. Don't stop at seven. If you got 10, give me 10. If you got 12, give me 12. I want you to take this set all the way to failure. Now after finish with that, since it's a push workout we're gonna do one shoulder exercise so we have the seated dumbbell shoulder press and we have four total sets now this is how I want you to break it down your first two sets they're gonna be speed they're gonna be for explosive it's just your fast twitch muscles so choose a challenging weight that you can get eight to ten reps but I do not want your reps to go slow at all I want the weight to be light enough where you can press it up explosively and control it if you find yourself around maybe like eight or rep nine, you're starting to struggle. The weight is too heavy. That is not the goal with these two sets right here. I think my weight was only 60 pounds, but as you can see in the video, that was the perfect weight for me to fell around maybe eight or nine or 10, but I'm still being fast and I'm still being explosive. Now, our last two sets, we're gonna do the exact opposite. This right here, guys, I call this the humble city because you're about to get humbled. Use the exact same weight. Now I want you to do eight to 10 reps, but I want you to count three to four seconds on the negative of every single rep. I know a lot of y'all do not understand what I'm saying. So just like you're seeing the video, when you're coming down with the dumbbells, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, now press it up. Now come down again, one, two, three, four. The burn with this is volcano like This right here is gonna have you looking at your workout partner or if you train alone, it's gonna have you looking at yourself in the mirror and be like, do I even really wanna do this? <laughs> But like I said, you have two sets. The negative is going to be four to five seconds and you have eight to 10 reps. Now after finish with that, we'll go ahead and just tie everything in. So now we're going to do the incline dumbbell flies. We have two to four sets. We only did three guys. Our chest
contest was just ridiculously pumped. I felt like it was no need for us to do the fourth set. But if you feel like your chest needs that extra set, listen, go ahead and do all four sets. I want you to stay controlled with your reps. I want you to come all the way down as deep as you possibly can. Keep your chest open and keep your chest up and then come up and squeeze every single rep. So I don't want you to go heavy. I want you to be able to control the weight, open your chest, get a deep stretch, push it in and contract. Go as heavy as you possibly can with being able to stay with perfect form. Now, like I said, we have three to four sets and we're gonna stay with eight to 10 reps. Now to finish with that, we're gonna go ahead and just put some more blood into our triceps. Since it's a push workout, let's go ahead and just blast out our triceps. So we have the incline bench, easy curl bar extensions, and we're gonna superset that with just the close grip press. Guys, this right here is game certified. It's the perfect superset that you possibly can do because you don't have to change anything. So you're literally going from one exercise right into the other. I'm telling you, the pump that you're gonna get off of this is just ridiculous. Now since we're on the incline, I think it's gonna make your shoulders feel better better and also be easier on your elbows. So like you're seeing in the video, bring the bar right behind your head, slow and controlled, press it up and squeeze at the top. You're gonna do this for six to eight reps. So go as heavy as you possibly can, guys. I think I worked all the way up to a 25 and a 10 on each side. Now immediately, after you get your six to eight reps, Go ahead and bring the bar right over. Now you're gonna go right into close grip press. Now I wrote down 12 to 15 reps, but some of you all are gonna be stronger, so you can go ahead and just do it to failure. Every single set, I want you to do 12 to 15 reps, but if that is too easy, I want you to go ahead and go to failure. Your form does not have to be 100% perfect, but I still want you to keep the weight in your triceps. It's easy to turn into your shoulders. So what I mean by that, think about keeping that bar right in your palm, come down, now press it up and squeeze and flex your triceps every single rep. Now after we finish with that, you know I'm big on shoulders. You know I'm trying to get these side delts to pop. I want it to look like I got a little baby on my right side and a little baby on my left side when I'm walking. I want to look wider. I want to look broader. So I always do side delts. You do not have to, but I promise you guys this will make your physique look so much more powerful. So what we did is we went to the side lateral machine. We only did two sets, but we did 15 reps. But as you can see, our reps were picture perfect. Like I always tell you, when I do side delts, I never come all the way down and touch my arms to my side. What that does is it's gonna take the tension off the side delts. So it's actually gonna take away from the exercise. If you're doing these reps, just like I'm showing you on a video, I promise you that's all you're gonna need because your side delts are gonna be pumped and your side delts are going to be dead and that is it. Listen guys, this is week number three. I've been gone for a week, so you know all of these workouts are about to be crazy. And if you've been following along and doing all these workouts with me, I wanna give you a double salute because like, before I got sick, man, I was sore like something serious. Like these workouts are the truth. You should do every single day that I'm doing. I got it set up perfect for you. Now that I, I fell off for a week, now we can even do the videos one day ahead. So I'm uploading the video Sunday that you're gonna do Monday. That way I can stay one day ahead, so that way you can prepare yourself mentally physically, emotionally, and all the leads out there. <laughs> but like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like this video, make sure you share this video, but at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream.